Warner Brothers presents Enter the Dragon. Made with one of the biggest studios in Hollywood, he knew this film could make or break his career. Less than a month before the movie's release, Bruce Lee complains of a headache, takes a painkiller, goes for a nap, but never wakes up. His death leaves the whole of Hong Kong in shock. One day, he was alive and well, and he was being Bruce Lee, and he was on the verge of achieving everything he'd ever dreamed of. And the next, he just was gone. How could their hero have died? His father trained Bruce Lee back in the 60s. He says some in the martial arts world believe that Brandon Lee was murdered. First talking about it being a projectile, then it being a 44 caliber slug. It goes from an accident to murder. Brandon Lee's publicist has been quoted as saying it's no longer believed to be a special effect gone wrong. I have a gut feeling, but I, I can't tell anybody what it is. So who would want to snuff out the life of this up-and-coming action star? That was the same question that was being asked back in 1973 when Bruce Lee died mysteriously from what the coroner listed as swelling of the brain. It's a chilling mirror image of what many say happened to Brandon. But many of the mourners at a memorial for Brandon Lee in Los Angeles yesterday seemed to dismiss the murder plots. Terrible, terrible accident happened on the set. Others are still asking and questions. So something is terribly, terribly wrong here. And either, you know, somebody's trying to murder him or there's some kind of gross negligence. Working in conditions like this. No matter what caused Brandon Lee's tragic death, it's another serious blow to the Lee family.